A lot of times there's multiple diagnoses with an eating disorder like OCD or something of that nature. But I think the most relatable thing is body dysmorphia. And what that is, is when you really don't see yourself as yourself. I'll give you an example. I will be walking or strolling, <laughs> as we say right now, and something will, on the side of a building, you know, you, a reflection will come up, and for a second I will go, oh, that poor, oh, it's just me, oh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, <laughs> you know. That goes through my head, and that's the thing that's really sad, is that I don't see myself as bad as I am. But I see other people absolutely normal. <laughs> and they are just normal, you know? I don't think any of these things about other people. I think that that's a, a hang-up some people have. They think I might be judging them, or what they're eating, it doesn't happen like that. It only rules itself here in the emotional mind. And the only thing that combats it is logic. So it's better off if I ask someone else, does it look like it's getting better? <laughs> because my own eyes never see it. It's actually been proven when, you know, when we looked at a certain body part, someone who suffers from body dysmorphia, it actually grows in your eyes. And it's much larger. It's so odd. But everybody else looks exactly this normal and healthy and fit or, you know, whatever. It just, those negative thoughts, they don't dwell over there with on other people. They only dwell in here and that's it.